Before watching the video, consider joining my Patreon for access to my music and more perks. Enjoy the video! Harbor Days The harbor on Edward's branch line was bustling with activity. Ships arrived night and day to load and unload cargo. This meant more and more trucks were needed and the sidings were soon crowded. Poor Edward found it difficult to stay organized. Any spare time he had was spent trying to tidy the trucks. Unfortunately, his priority was getting his own trains ready, so little progress was made. Bill and Ben tried to help when they brought their loads of clay. However, they often ended up bickering about what truck should go where which only made things worse. You can't keep going on like this, remarked Boko, as a weary Edward puffed into the junction. I think it's time we spoke to the fat controller about getting help. The other engines are much too busy with their own work, Edward replied. I'll manage, somehow. Boko was unconvinced, but said no more. Later, Boko brought passengers to Thomas's junction. He was still thinking about Edward when his thoughts were interrupted by a cheerful You look worried, Boko, observed Toby. What's wrong? Boko quickly explained about Edward and the harbor. I know the feeling, sympathized Toby. Back in my harbor days, you barely got a chance to rest your wheels. I miss it sometimes, though it's far from light work. So it seems, muttered Boko. I wouldn't worry, smiled Toby. Edward has one thing every harbor engine needs, experience. I'm sure those trucks will be sorted by the time you next see him. But they weren't. Edward was busy elsewhere and hadn't been back to the harbor since the morning. Boko took his goods down the line, but when he arrived at the harbor, he was shocked. Trucks were everywhere. They giggled and chattered noisily. Boko frowned and moved forward to find Bill and Ben, arguing furiously. You let a truck tell you where to put it? You know they're untrustworthy, Bill squawked. Seemed more trustworthy than your instinct. You blocked an entire siding, retorted Ben. Enough, both of you. The twins jumped, not having noticed Boko arrive. What on earth is going on here? He demanded. We just wanted to help Edward, cried Bill. By sitting around bickering, growled Boko. It's not our fault, Ben harumphed. We've never dealt with this many trucks at the clay pits. Perhaps if Edward had passed on some of that experience of his, we... Experience, cried Boko. That's it. The twins stared at each other, then smiled. Whatever Boko's idea was, it was good enough for them. That evening, Edward was bringing his last passenger train to the harbor. He was glad the day's work was done and was eager to organize the yard. As he pulled into the harbor, he was quite surprised. The trucks were all tidily arranged. Sidings were clear, ships were hooting their horns in delight, and the workmen were in much better spirits. How, he began, when a familiar sight came into view. Evening, Edward, smiled Toby. I don't suppose you mind a little help from an old harbor engine, do you? Not at all, being Edward. But how? Boko spoke with the fat controller, explained Toby. The others are handling my branch line trains while I look after your harbor for a few days. I must say, it's a relief to see you. I've been run ragged trying to keep everything in order. You leave this lot to me, Toby said, eyeing the trucks. I'll see to it that your harbor is well looked after. 
Toby was as good as his word. Edward and Boko were able to focus on their regular duties. Toby had their trains ready in good time and kept all the ships on schedule leaving the harbor. He even found time to teach Bill and Ben a few tricks. At last, the harbor grew quieter and the workload was more manageable. All the engines came to see Toby off. The number seven suits you, grinned Boko. We are certainly lucky to have had your help. It's been my pleasure, Toby smiled. It put me in mind of the old days. Although, he chuckled, it reminded me I'm not as young as I once was. I'm looking forward to a quiet run with Henrietta. At that moment, the signal dropped, and Toby's path was clear. Goodbye, Toby, cheered Edward. You're welcome on our branch line anytime. To a chorus of whistles and horns, Toby set off for home. <laughs>